The city has had an ice storm, and yet downtown Massachusetts Avenue is packed. This is not snow. This is solid, inch-thick ice that's been around for three days now. And here we are at the Art Bank. See if we can safely make it into the door. I do abstract landscapes is this series. It's a combination of mixed media and acrylics. And <laughs> hold on one moment. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> acrylics, mixed media, uh, crackle mediums, lots of layers and uh, textures. So those are the ingredients. Yes. What are you painting about? Horizons, just the different uh, skylines you see when you're traveling around the country. Uh, some of these places I've lived, uh, and some of them I'd like to go to, like like that one. Which one? The, the one with the island. <laughs> Vacation. Oh. Some people get those, I hear. So, um, but most of these are different horizon lines that I've seen around and throughout my life. And they kind of depict different chapters in my life. Um, there's also a couple of memorial pieces in this series of a couple of friends that I've lost. And uh, that one is St. Theobald's Perspective. And that's in memory of Matt Theobald. And then the big sun piece is um, a memory of Aloysius IV, Murph. And both were um, artists or art um, aficionados that were really culturally involved with my gallery. And uh, Murph was actually an artist at LAMP for several years. So um, they both left us in the last year or so. I did that for those guys. And then this piece over here is about uh, pecking order. Pecking order? Pecking I would order. never guess that. Um, uh, Planet Earth series. They had a uh, special, uh, special segment on the biggest migration of birds. And they all migrate to this one a barren river in Africa once a year and it rains and all of a sudden there's a river there and they all nest but it's such a big migration of birds that they have to nest on the ground literally close enough and yet far enough away that they don't peck at each other's nests so that's what that's about and when the uh, takes their cinema photography and goes up that's what it looks like so <laughs> And uh, it took me about three years to do, keep the veins separate. Uh, the eggs have a white vein and the background has a dark vein. That was pretty tough to keep separated. On the right is uh, the metal smithing studio uh, where I teach. So I make my own work in here and I teach in the school part. And feel free to go in there and look around at everything and watch the demos. They're making glass beads. So feel free to just wander all the way. Okay. Okay. Enjoy. You're welcome. Good to see you too. Hello. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Doing fine. How are you? Good. So you want to tell me about what's going on? Well, um, it's first Friday in February. Yeah. I'm hoping to sell some jewelry tonight. I made a whole bunch of new things, a bunch of new earrings and pendants and that sort of thing. And uh, 
we've got the three woodworkers that have their work in the little gallery here, Nick Allman, Ted Ross, and Robin Long Jordan. And then as I was explaining earlier, we have the lampwork bead makers, three lampwork bead makers, Jerry Sheese and um, Sama Parcels and Lisa Atchison. And they're in the big room demonstrating how to make lampwork glass beads using fire. So that's what's going on. Cool. You want to show me some uh, some of your recent work? Oh yeah. These are uh, rose quartz, which is a very healing stone. Uh, I use beads every so often in my work and I love those. These I call um, beautiful day earrings and uh, they were kind of inspired by the events, uh, recent events in Arizona and they are created simply by using heat. They get almost molten and when they reach the near molten state they get plunged into ice cold water and so this patina that you see on there is created just from the heat. So I've got three new rings and I call these uh, the Posey series. I call this Betty, Betty's Posey for uh, after Betty Frieden. And they are copper using the same technique that I used on the earrings. Nickel silver and domed brass that's been textured. And then the band is sterling silver which has been decorated with a series of punches. And it's uh, done on a mandrel that's shaped like the human finger so it's really comfortable to wear. And I've got three like this. Here's one that's uh, I altered to accept one of Jerry Sheese's lamp worked beads. So the bead is Jerry's and the metal smithing is mine. a pair of earrings and they're called Cleopatra Awakens and I was kind of inspired by everything that's happening in Egypt and uh, I didn't necessarily have the intention to create something that was a, of an Egyptian design whatsoever but uh, things happen when I'm at the bench and I just follow where they lead me and so as, as these got closer to being completed, uh, usually a name uh, provides itself to me and the name Cleopatra came up. And uh, so that's, that's why they're named thus. And these are chrysocolla, which is, looks similar to turquoise, but there's green and then there's also a little bit of blue in the matrix. And then there are nice freshwater pearls and everything's made out of sterling silver and they have nice movement to them. So when you're wearing them, you'll get some nice, nice movement. <laughs> is this like the fourth show then? This is, <laughs> we do math on camera. <laughs> oh, October, November, December. Fifth show. Yeah, fifth Thank show you. already. Fifth show, yeah, we're moving right along. We've had a really good variety too. We've had glass and found object assemblage. We've had painters, we've had photographers, we've had a little bit of everything with the toy show. So I think we're doing well. Yeah, it's a great space. I think everybody loves it. Thank you. Yeah, we love it too. We're really happy with how it turned out and, and the reception we're getting from everybody that comes in and enjoys it and enjoys the work and gets to see work that maybe you wouldn't necessarily see otherwise, you know, getting reaching out to some artists that aren't represented. That's what we're doing. We're trying to find artists that maybe had representation before but their gallery closed and now we are able to give them a solo show. Working with organizations like IDATA to give help them give them a venue too when they need it. So